Okay, we have another problem from page 234. This is a worked example 9.11. Given that sine x is one third, find the possible values of cos x and tan x. Remember the trig identity, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals one. So what does this square mean? It actually means the exponent goes on the outside. So this is the equivalent to cos x squared is equal to 1. But we know what sine x is. Sine x is 1 third. So what we have is sine x is 1 third. We have cosine x squared is equal to 1. We can use exponent laws here. 1 squared is 1. 3 squared is 9. And what we have here is cosine x squared equals 1. We're going to throw this term over the bridge, and what we get is 1 minus 1 ninth, which is the same thing as 9 over 9 minus 1 ninth is equals to 8 over 9. So cos x squared is equals to 8 over 9. Let's square root both sides and we get cos x is equals to plus minus the square root of this fraction here. Now recall that when we have radicals, we can rewrite this square root of a fraction as square root of a numerator divided by square root of denominator. And so therefore, cos x is equals to plus minus and the square root of 8 is the same thing as the 2's come out 2 root 2 over 3 so this is our cos x value we're not asked to find the actual angle x we're just asked to find cosine of x now let's solve for tan x remember that the identity tan x is equals to sine x over cos x. This is a very important one. It's very basic. So tan x is, e is equal to sine x, which is given. It's one third divided by cos x. Cosine of x is here. Plus minus two root two divided by three. We change division to multiplication and we find the reciprocal. And the threes cancel and when we multiply across so what we get is 1 over so plus minus write that first don't forget about it 2 root 2 we rationalize the denominator and we get plus minus root 2 over 2 times 2 is 4 and so this is the value of tan x